Hey guys, this is an impromptu eyebrow tutorial. So, I was asked <laughs> on how I do my Amy Lee eyebrows. Um, I don't do Amy Lee eyebrows because I can't. <laughs> I tried one time for a tutorial, like to actually imitate the shape and it just I look back and I'm like ooh that doesn't look good so I'm gonna show you a picture of that now okay so I tried to do the whole you know I don't know bushiness of her brows my brows are not exactly bushy <laughs> um, and yeah so <laughs> I gave up I the only thing I do try to like deal with my own eyebrow is I'll either go thinner or thicker depending on like the photo and if her eyebrows look thicker then I'll try to do a little thicker eyebrow or I'll do a little thinner or I'll go lighter in the color that I use or darker because sometimes her eyebrows are like blonde and other times they're black you know so they either like dye them and then they fade or they just don't fill them um, with a dark color so that's that's one thing I do try to imitate in the photos to kind of put it all together in the uh, makeup. So it looks like it, right? Anyhow, this is what I use for my eyebrows. I use a painter's brush. This you would find like at Hobby Lobby and it's really long. I cut it and made it short so it would be the length of a makeup brush. And then I just put um, nail polish <laughs> and glitter. And this is a angled shader in a number three. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I use. This is my go-to eyebrow buddy. And then this one I use for a concealer too. I do um, clean them up around because sometimes like because of the technique I use, it looks like there's a bunch of streaks. So this one is another painter's brush and this is a flat shader in number eight. So it's basically just a square flat, see, like that, or sort of a rectangle shape actually. Anyhow, for the actual filling of the brow, I use this Maybelline gel eyeliner. I don't use eyebrow pomade. I just like the consistency of the gel eyeliner and right now I'm using brown. I usually use espresso, but I don't have espresso. So I bought this one from this one is espresso. This is Lacquer Liner 24 Hour L'Oreal Infallible. This guy right here. That one. So I use a combination of the two. Sometimes I just use one and I don't ever use the dark one by itself because it's very uh, thick and dark. So this one I mainly like to use for uh, making it just a little darker in certain areas. So let's get started. So I just dip into it like this. I don't really do much. And then I start here because this is where I have less hair. So this is what I do, little strokes. And see, here's what I forgot to do too, because <laughs> I already know I don't have to do it for myself. But the way I know how to do my brows is that it starts on the inner part like this. So you can make a mark there, just lightly, and that'll mark where your eyebrow should start. <clears throat> on the inner part of the nose, not the outer inner. And then you take the brush and you put it here, and that's where your arch should be. So right there and then you go further out and that's where your eyebrow should end you see that right there and you can press your brush down to make those marks if you want you know eyebrows that actually fit your face and that frame it right and are not like off that's what you do so just tap into the no brown into the brown Maybelline brown and continue to imitate the hairs I already see that I have right there. My hairs grow like this 
So that's what I imitate, how they grow, and then come in. Try not to go too dark on the inside, and sometimes that doesn't work, because sometimes I do go too dark. So bring it in to that point, and just slightly stroke. And then go just a little harder on the inside part. And this is how I always do my brows. There's no like special, I don't know, magic or technique to it. It's just what I discovered that works for me because I wanted to go for a more natural looking eyebrow and I wanted to go back into like what my uh, what my shape is more like than actually imitating a shape, you know, like everyone does the uh, real squared out shape and I feel for my face, that's not a good shape. It kind of does something weird to my eyes. So a round shape, I had a round shape when I was younger too, like I went round and then I changed it. I'm back to a sort of roundish, uh, not so round, not like this, but more like, like, I don't know, like this, and then, and I used to make the tail really long too, like I was into that, but now I'm like, you know what, it stops where, like right here, it's the most natural eyebrow I can um, create that suits my face, you know, it makes it look good and not odd, because I did, like, I used to go <clears throat> up here too high and then too thin, and my eyebrows are not uh, symmetrical, so one used to be like this, lower, and then one higher. <laughs> it was really bad. It was subtle, but I noticed it, and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. And then it was like that really squared out shape, you know. Not a good look, not for me. <laughs> Some people may look good with that, but I, I don't. So this is all I do, and like today, I don't know if I'm going to use the... Well, I already used it on the other brow. So see the tail is not very dark. So I take the other one, the dark one, and I do the same thing. I just tap the brush against it. Don't scrape or anything, just tap lightly because then you'll get too much product and then it'll look, it'll be a mess. Um, and then I just go at the end. I do like the tail a little darker. So just create little strokes down like that. So what you do, which is what I'm doing, you basically follow the way your hair grows. So if your hair grows up, you go up. If your hair grows out like that, like mine, mine goes like at a point. It grows like this and then it goes out. <laughs> so it goes down like this and out. That's how my hair grows. See, and there's my hair. <laughs> I have to brush it down because they get long right here. And then, so they grow like this, basically. Um, and Amy's eyebrows are very different. So her eyebrows are um, very bushy at the center. I'm gonna try to imitate them here, see if I could do that. And they're not as arched as mine are very arched. Hers are a little flatter and they do have a roundish shape, but they go in, out, and down almost. So she's got a very, very bushy inner part and then it goes to a very, very thin uh, top part. And I don't think everybody can pull off that eyebrow because it's kind of, it's a very thick eyebrow. So, so kind of like that, I guess. <laughs> Just a little more right here. And then real thin right here like if she just takes out hair here and then just lets the rest of the eyebrow be um, that's what they look like to me so that's just not gonna work on my face I don't look good with too much right here so I try to create them kind of even I don't know if you notice that they're not really that much bigger here than they are here that's what I do for mine so for me it's kind of really even and they sort of thin out at the at the back. Amy's eyebrows are very thick right here. Like she goes, they're just super thick. And then 
right here, they kind of really thin out. And that's how her eyebrows look, at least in a lot of the pictures, I don't know. Like, um, let me show you a photo now of her eyebrows. So now you can see the difference. They're not really Amy eyebrows, they just kind of have, we have a similar uh, round of our brown, our brow bone is kind of round, it's not squared out. So yeah, that's why they look like that, but they're not really Amy's, they're mine. Because <laughs> I don't go wherever I don't have hair, and sometimes I have really long hairs or strays that I, I'm afraid to pluck because I don't have super bushy eyebrows, they're kind of sparse, so... There's a, uh, see, and there's like strays here that I have. So I just try to fill wherever my hair grows. And that's what I do. Sometimes I do clean them up. Like right now, I don't really need to. And I don't always use concealer. Today I'm wearing uh, this right here, which is just a BB cream. I'm going to work out later, so I do wear a BB cream when I work out. I don't know, I just don't like to go... I go bare face sometimes, but not always. <clears throat> Especially if I know I have to go to the store first. That's why. Because then, go to the store, come back, work out. So, um, yeah. So, this one looks white, but it changes into your, your tone. So, what I do usually, I take that and I just clean up. Clean up a little bit. Don't do much. Just clean up the edges of it. Like that. And there you have it, guys. Those are my eyebrows. That's how I fill them. That's what I use. Nothing special, I don't think. <laughs> they're just what they are. And, uh, yeah, they're like two little, um, I don't know, lines. <laughs> Sort of tapered lines, not completely tapered. <laughs> yeah, so I hope that was helpful to any of you out there who want to know how to do your eyebrows. Um, sorry, I can't help you do the Amy brow. That's kind of, I might try it one day. But I don't know. That, that, like I said, like in the picture, that just, no, it doesn't work out for me. It might work out for you, um, but you can try just doing my eyebrow. I don't know if you want a rounder shape up to you <laughs> or if you just want to use the same technique and still do the shape that you like I do suggest uh, always following the way your hair grows don't try to like I mean go ahead if you want if you want a different look it's, it's up to you but it's, it's an eyebrow the only thing you should always 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 stick to is the measurements so no matter what shape you do make sure that your eyebrow starts there and that your arch is there and that the end of your eyebrow is there so that way no matter what shape you have your face is properly framed and it doesn't look off you know your eyes won't look like they're too far apart or too close together your nose won't look too wide or too narrow or it won't look like you're trying to get a unibrow so <laughs> that is my tutorial for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if it was helpful or if you learned something new today about eyebrows that, you know, you haven't seen someone else use or whatever. Or that you just, I don't know, you like my eyebrow shape. <laughs> All right, until next time, rock on.